because really, a fight is a fight. Hello, I'm Robert Cousins and I'm a boxer. I'm a four-time Canadian national champion, seven-time provincial champion, and a four-time Golden Gloves champion. I'm a boxer and a coach. I work with a lot of people and I teach them how to fight. I understand that you folks are doing industrial cybersecurity. Some of you are protecting our critical infrastructure, keeping the lights on. Keep fighting the good fight. What I'm going to do today is go through some of the techniques that I teach my students. Because really, a fight is a fight. We box, you fight the people trying to break into our power plants and factories. I teach people how to fight in the ring. Some techniques and some principles are universal. Let's take a look at some of these techniques. Hello, I'm Andrew Ginter, the VP Industrial Security at Waterfall Security Solutions and the author of Secure Operations Technology. Robert is right. Some principles are universal. For example, the first law of SCADA security, nothing is secure. For every attack, there's a defense. For every defense, there's an attack. Security is a continuum, not a pair of discrete states. The question, are we secure, yes or no, has no answer. The question, how secure are we, has an answer. The question, how secure should we be, is even more important. So let's go back to Robert. Some principles are universal. What do we learn from boxing? Technique one, strong guard. Everything starts at the right stance and a strong guard. Get your guard up and tuck your chin. Your chin is a softer target than your forehead. Tuck that chin. Keep your elbows tucked and your fists will protect your face. Your elbows will protect your body. You have to protect all the soft spots. All the offensive skills in the world are not going to save you if all your opponent's punches are hitting you in the soft targets. Get your guard up. With no guard, well, the first time anyone or anything hits us, we go down. Security starts with the basics. In the cyber world, not all of our targets have the same importance. You hit the IT network, the lights should stay on. Oil should continue flowing through the pipeline. You hit the safety system, you hit the blowout preventer, and things can get very bad, very quickly. Technique number two, double jab cross. The double jab is a fake. Maybe it lands, maybe it doesn't. The job is to distract our opponent. They focus on the fake while we land the cross. This is standard fighting technique. Experienced fighters expect the unexpected. Targeted attacks are where an adversary has remote control of some of our equipment and is using that equipment against us. Uh, imagine a scenario where one of these attackers is in our network and wants to do something subtle, something to get into our OT network and does not want to be discovered doing that. So they take a bit of common malware. They recompile it so that antivirus won't detect it right off the bat. They mail the malware to, you know, two, three, four users on the target network. And they don't wait for the users to click on the malware. They're in the network. They go to those users' workstations. They drop the malware manually on the users' workstations. They activate the malware. And now all sorts of alarms go off. Incident response teams are scrambled. Forensics gets involved. Forensics is trying to figure out how did this malware get activated when nobody clicked on it. They're completely distracted. In the meantime, the bad guys are reaching through the ITOT firewall to get a foothold in the DMZ or get a foothold in the OT network. And they raise a couple of low priority alarms and nobody notices. To defend against this, we need to practice. Keep our guard up. Hit back if there's an opportunity and stay aware. No matter what happens so far, there's always a hidden blow coming. My next lesson here is not so much a technique, but a principle. The principle is practice. Practice, practice, practice. When you get hit, panic is your enemy. Confusion is your enemy and inexperience is your enemy. Practice getting hit and practice hitting back. They say you have to do something 10,000 times until you master it. If the first time we practice the incident response plan is when a cyber attack hits our industrial network, well, we're going down, aren't we? We panic. We argue about whether we're going to shut the plant down. We argue about who has the authority to make the decision to shut the plant down. We forget to do stuff. We're scrambling. We don't have time to think. We don't see the big picture. 
we don't see if this same attacker is doing something subtle to us, something else, something nasty. With practice, these movements become automatic. We call that muscle memory. You see the opportunity, you move to attack. You see the blow coming, your body dodges. Your body knows what to do. You free up your brain to think about what's happening and to see patterns, to think two and three moves ahead. Technique number four, outsmart, not outwork. Now, boxing takes a lot of energy. I've seen a lot of boxers coming out of the corner exploding with energy. They're punching, they're dodging, they're dodging some more. When you have an opponent like this coming at you, here's what I teach my students. Outsmart your opponents, don't try to outwork them. Defend for a while, duck and dodge. Conserve your energy, watch them, look for repetition, look for a pattern, and when you see weak spots, then you come back at them. If you work hard too early on, then you'll be the exhausted one. You're not gonna have the energy to fight and you certainly won't have the energy to think. It's way less effort and way more effective to outthink your opponent and not to outfight them. The bad guys nowadays, they have automation. They're not doing these attacks by hand. And they have experience. They know nine times out of 10 where the holes are. They go straight for the holes while they're distracting us somewhere else. We can't just chase every alert. We can't just react. We need to outsmart our enemies. We need to know the attack paths as well as they do. We need to be dealing with those attack paths before the attack even starts. Technique number five, ask, learn. When you're in the gym and you're practicing, talk to people, ask for advice. Watch the best boxers around, get ideas, copy their moves. Learn how to use them and learn how to defend against them. Always practice what you learn. Because face it, sooner or later, everything the other guy's doing is gonna come right back at you in the ring. You see something new, figure it out and look for patterns. This one always jabs twice with their left. This one always dodges right. You know what they're gonna throw at you. You always watch, you always learn. Don't kid yourselves. The bad guys learn from each other. What intelligence agencies did five years ago, ransomware criminal groups are doing today. Look at history. In 2007, Western governments pointed the finger at Chinese intelligence agencies with their newfangled targeted attacks. Half a decade later, dozens of governments and intelligence agencies all over the world were doing targeted attacks. Another example, in 2017, Russia was accused of hiding not Petya, a worm, in a security update for a Ukrainian tax program. Not Petya took down Maersk, the world's largest container shipping company. It was down for six days. Just last June, the R Evil ransomware group pushed their ransomware as a fake security update to a thousand victims. What the intel agencies did five years ago the ransomware groups are doing today. The bad guys learn from each other's. We need to learn from each other. We need to learn about attacks. We need to learn about each other's defenses so that we can all get better. That's what I got for you. Keep your guard up, tuck your chin, and anticipate that double jab fake. Practice, practice, practice. Outsmart those cyber attackers and always learn. You learn from your friends, you learn from your enemies. So keep fighting that good fight and keep the lights on. Thank you.